Shalom, Mishpaka, family, all esteem to Yahuwah for first and foremost bringing us through the Feast of Dedication. I pray that everybody um, was able to enjoy their time with Abba Yahuwah, getting those plans together for how we are going to produce change and really produce the evidence to Abba Yahuwah that we are actually dedicated to him, stuck, chanuk, stuck unto him, right? Hallelujah, devoted to him in a way that is evident in our lives. Um, I wanna be obedient and discuss this word, This the English word repent or repentance, right? It's actually the Hebrew word shab, right? Shin, wa, bet, right? Some people pronounce it show depending on you know, the dialect of Hebrew, you know, some people pronounce it differently, but the Hebrew letters are Shin, Wa, Bet, right? Shin, right? The Hebraic picture of two front teeth standing and representing for consuming, eating, destroying. The Wa, right? The, the, the tent peg, right? That holds down the, the tent firmly. Hallelujah to prevent it from moving when winds blow, when things happen, right? Natural elements. And then the bet, obviously we know, is representative for the tent, right? Or house or within. So when you put these three Hebrew letters together, you get the word shab or show, right? And it literally means to return to a state of being, of dwelling, right? And it's so deep, it's so deep. Um, it's the idea of dwelling in the house of Yah. That's really what it means. Now, of course, in every Hebrew word, there's a positive and a negative. So when a person shabs or returns, it could also be black backsliding where they were dwelling in darkness. Yahuwah brings them into righteousness, brings them into light. And then they get offended at a word or whatever. Right. They choose to go back to the world. They, they, they look at the cares of this life. They think this walk is too hard and they end up reverting. Right. That's the negative. That's it in the negative. And it's the same idea of backsliding, right? But obviously we know that that's not Abba Yahuwah's will and desire. His will and desire is for us to come out of darkness, right? Into light. And I'm going to tell you that this word, it has so many negative, off, wrong um, meanings, Especially when, when people look at it, like in the Greek, you know, they, they, they give you a, a, a word, metanoia, which means to change your way of thinking, which at the end of the day, praise y'all for, for righteous thinking, but that doesn't automatically produce action. This word ultimately produces action. It's a change in one's behavior, their conduct of life. It's action based. Hallelujah. Repentance Hebraically, the word shab it literally is action based. That means your actions have to change in order for you to remain dwelling in the house of Abba Yahuwah. That's what the word repentance means. And I can't stress enough that that first letter, Shin, it's a it's a pressure, right? Again, we, we know that that letter represents the two front teeth, which means to eat, consume, destroy. But it's also the idea of pressure. So you have to apply pressure in order to produce actions, the fruit of change. This is your behavior. It's not good enough to just cry before the altar. It's not good enough to just tell Yahuwah, I'm sorry, I apologize for this. No, no, no. It's not good enough to come with words and writing out letters and all this other stuff. No, man, Yahuwah wants to see a change in your actions. That's what's going to determine whether or not you're going to be able to dwell within his house. That's what the word repent means. Hallelujah. And this is something that we have to understand Hebraically and concretely that this, again, it's fully action based. Hallelujah. Yes, Yahuwah is dealing with the minds. And can the mind have an effect on your actions? Absolutely. But this word shab is completely action based. Pressing towards the house. This means that you're overcoming emotions, even the way you might be thinking in a moment. You have to overcome that with 
pressure in order to produce the fruit of change that Abi Yahuwah is requiring from you, from us as a nation in this moment. And of course, if we get it together individually, then our families get it together. Then our, our watch this, our, our tribes get it together. Then our nation will be able to get it together. So yes, it's something that Yahuwah is requiring from us as a whole. And you already know, we've been taught, we've been dealing with the RPR, right? Receive, perceive, respond. Well, guess what? Your response is an action. That's what it is. Yeah, it may be accompanied with words, but I'm telling you, the, the response you who was looking for is not words, it's actions. It's action. Action, baby. Yahuwah is about that action. Hallelujah. That's what this season is. is it, don't, don't speak about it, be about it. That's what it is. Some of, we doing too much talking. We doing too much talking and, 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 and guess what the, the talking is producing? Idle words of vanity. Stuff we saying that we not following through on. Promises that we making that we're not upholding our, our, on our end because we're not applying that pressure. Ruach is saying apply that pressure. Produce that repentance so that you can dwell. Because I'm telling you that patience is definitely running thin. It's running short. Just like the Ruach brought out yesterday regarding idolatry. Yahuwah is definitely... Yo, he's, I'm telling you, he, 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 he didn't press that reset button and he's been holding it. But at a certain point, if the reset doesn't work when you're playing the game, you cut the game off. The game about to be cut off for certain people who are not producing that change that Abba Yahuwah has been, has been impressing upon them through the Ruach to do. So, hallelujah, we definitely going to go deeper into this word and what it means and, you know, the various scripts, you know. Because ultimately, we're going to talk about how, man, it ain't no repentance. You're not entering into the kingdom. That was the first word Mashiach spoke after his fast, 40-day fast, when he came out of the wilderness being tempted of the devil. First thing he said, repent, for the kingdom of hell, heaven is at hand. The kingdom of powers, kingdom of Yahuwah. Same thing with Yahuwah Hanan the Immerser, John the Baptist. Repent, Shab. Change your actions. Hallelujah. Produce the fruit of change. Produce that action. Don't speak about it. Be about it. So I just wanted to be obedient and speak this word that's been in my ruach because that's what this reset is really about. It's about producing change, true repentance, not just crying, not just being emotional, not just speaking a bunch of words and making empty promises. No, it's about action. It's about a change in your behavior. Hallelujah. Machaha, shalom. We'll be dealing more with this soon. Shalom.